Today's society has so many constant distractions and so many different things that make it really hard to get good deep sleep. So in this video, I'm gonna give you four quick tips that you could use tonight to have better sleep. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Let's dive into it. One of the most important biological function that we all have access to that reduces stress, increases performance, and actually leads to a better quality of life is sleep. But so many of us are constantly neglecting our ability to get better sleep and to use that better sleep to have a better life. So I wanna give you four quick tips that you could actually use, not tips that are theoretical and philosophical and whatever, today in order to get better sleep. Tip number one is forego electronics around bed. Yeah, I know that's going to be hard for a lot of people. And I know a lot of people who actually sleep with their phone under their pillow or sleep near a Wi-Fi router, whatever that is. But one of the most crucial ways to increase sleep that you will ever see is to actually put your phone in airplane mode, set it aside. You can play music on it, but don't jump on Instagram. Don't jump on one of the competitive mind platforms that is going to get you engaged in their algorithm before bed, because that's going to spike cortisol. It's going to spike adrenaline. Likely you have blue light coming from that. And it's actually going to decrease not only the quality of sleep, but the length of sleep that you could have. So for the easiest way to do this, forgo electronics two hours before bed, an hour before bed, but a period before bed that allows you to de-stress, declutter your mind, and go to sleep. Tip number two, this one's going to be a bit different. Wake up with bright light. Yes, all of our bodies are attuned to something called the circadian rhythm. And the circadian rhythm is a rhythm which literally wakes you up at a certain time, has you go to sleep at a certain time, sparks digestion at a certain time, stops digestion at, at a certain time. And what you can do is utilize that in order to sleep better because we all have a natural way that we like to sleep. And so if you wake up early and you watch the sunrise or you get sun, the first thing when you wake up, light will actually spark cortisol, which gets rid of the melatonin and GABA that is enforcing sleep, get rid of that sleepiness, and then allow the cycle when actually nightfall starts to come and cortisol decreases so that you can then produce GABA and melatonin to fall right gently back into sleep. So the first thing that you should do each morning is get some bright light. And that can be in the form of sunlight, or if you're in a cloudy area, using a red light, just like I'm gonna link above, or the human charger, I'm also linking above, will allow you to get that light even in areas where you normally couldn't get that light. So you can continue on that circadian rhythm and make sure that you can fall asleep easily. Quick tip number three is to meditate or journal before bed. Again, this is another one that you always have access to. You can always have a journal and you can always use use silence to your benefit. So by simply calming the mind before bed, which is most people's problems prior to bed, you can make sure that you turn off everything and easily and gently go into your dream state. By journaling all your worries, all your fears, meditating, silencing the mind, these are two easy ways which have so many proven benefits scientifically, not just, oh, I'm meditating and now I have some sort of spiritual essence to myself, but instead actual scientific evidence showing that they lead to better sleep, which is easy and accessible for anybody to do at any time. So make sure to journal out all those chaotic, hectic thoughts which are keeping you awake or sit there, embrace silence, focus on your breathing and allow yourself to gently drift into sleep. Quick tip number four is to use a few different supplements in order to help you fall asleep. Now, I know a lot of people don't have access to this and that's why I wanted to put this at the end. But if you really want to elevate sleep and you don't know exactly why you can't fall asleep right now, I want to give you three different supplements which are going to help you fall asleep and get better quality deep sleep. Supplement number one is going to be magnesium. That's it. There's a brand called Calm. I love them. Super easy. Tastes great. It's like strawberry lemonade flavor. And by taking magnesium before bed, something that most of us are deficient in, magnesium is a de-stressing and calming electrolyte. So it will actually help you start to mitigate that stress, calm down, and get ready for the night. The next supplement that I would recommend is actually using something like like honey before bed. So by taking in some type of complex carb or sugar, you're actually gonna calm down the system, allow the stress of your day, your body, your physiological stressors, your mental stressors to dissipate by telling your body, okay, we're safe, we can go to sleep, and we can get into whatever mode we need to. I like Manuka honey because it has many other benefits, but you could use any, if you wanna use local honey to start mitigating those allergies, it's another really easy way to calm down the body, get 
rid of the stressors and start to fall asleep. Supplement number three is gonna sound a little different and it's gonna be any of your normal nootropics. So Alpha Brain from Onnit is great for this. Phosphodiol Serine is also great for this, but utilizing a nootropic before you go to sleep, like Cuprazine A or something along that nature has actually been increasing REM sleep and deep sleep for me, night over night over night. And there's a lot of different studies to show how this works, but I track everything on the Aura Ring daily. And it's very interesting to see that the days that I take a nootropic, I can get upwards of two and a half hours of REM sleep a night, which most people are getting 45 to 50 minutes of REM sleep, which is not good. You want to get as much REM and deep sleep as you can to not only repair the mind, but repair the body. So those are the four tips to get better sleep tonight. If you've got any other tips, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in a video soon.